In this episode, we share the secrets to building lean muscle at midlife and at the same time, losing body fat. People can get very confused about how to do both at the same time. And there is an art to it, but we break it down here in the simplest terms so you can start feeling and looking better than ever before. Hi, I'm James Davis. And I'm Claire Davis. We're the Midlife Mentors, here to lift the lid on how to achieve health and happiness. The balanced, no-nonsense way. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Midlife Mentors with me, James. And me, Claire. A very sick (laughs) note, Claire. (laughs) Oh dear. (laughs) Yeah, Um, I haven't been very well for the whole week, have I? You have not. um, No. Yes. No, and um, still mending, still mending. So much so that I actually opted out of doing a live inside our Facebook group earlier on this morning and left James to it. And that's just like never, that's just unheard of. Some isn't might it? say it went better as a result. Oh, you're <laughs> so <laughs> mean. Oh, I don't yeah, mean it. It's really it. Mean. Of course you were missed. Oh, yeah, no, it's um, some little bugger of a virus has, has got me and I never, I don't think I've actually been this sick for actually like about a year and a half. I haven't been... When, when the old COVID got me, and this isn't COVID, by the way, because I have tested. But, um, yeah, I don't know. What, uh, the most annoying part of it is I can't taste anything, and I love my food. Honestly, that is the most frustrating bit. I can't taste my food. I can't smell, but that's okay, because James smells, and I can't smell how, how bad he is. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I can't hear very well, which is fine, because... I'm oh, just like James. A blessing. <laughs> <laughs> if, only, if only your mouth had stopped. We're going to be winner. Yeah. <laughs> well, it kind of is, because every time I try and talk, I'm kind of coughing. Oh. He's not been very nice to oh, me, well, listeners. I, I'm being no, he has. He so. has been very, very sweet and apt, apt to put up with me being a real grumpy pants. Not a great patient, are you? I'm a terrible patient because I've had to ca- um, cancel all of my coaching calls, my one to one coaching calls this week, which I hate to do because I love them. And I just hate letting people down. Um, and I haven't got on with the things that I want to get on with this week in the business. Oh. Um, and my my workouts have been absolutely ridiculous, the ones I have been doing. And I know everyone's out there going, what are you doing workouts for? Um, yeah, it's not the most sensible thing, but um, we'll leave it at that. But yes, <laughs> my, my workouts haven't been great either. So I've been a real grumpy pants. Well, it is. And that leads us nicely <clears throat> to the topic for today, which yeah. is how and why you need to build a lean muscle. And then in brackets, and how to lose fat at the same time. Because we get asked this so, mm. so much. That's what we cover, the how and why you need to le- le- build lean muscle at midlife and how you can do it to lose fat at the same time. So we're going to dive into that this morning. Yeah, this is actually from a, a TikTok video that I did. If you don't follow TikTok, um, us on TikTok, well, it's actually it's me because I, I'm I took not allowed this on. on the channel. No, but it actually was me that took the mantle of TikTok and it's just kind of evolved from there. But we're at uh, the Midlife Mentors on TikTok. So I did this... Um, this video on TikTok about um, the things that I um, did to build lean muscle actually in my 40s um, and have helped me personally like, look better and feel better than I ever have. So, you know, we're going to give those tips around what to do to build lean muscle so that we can look different, feel different, feel strong and all, all the amazing health benefits that go with building muscles as well. But um, yeah, that was the inspiration of doing this podcast. And then James was like, but people often say that they find it difficult to to drop weight and build muscle. Mm. And I was like, yeah, they do. They say yeah. that a lot. So we're that's gonna why that. we're going to cover that. But what else have we been up to, Mr. Well, D? We won another award, didn't we? Oh, my goodness. We won another award. So we um, did. the Prestige Awards have ordered yes. us online coaching services of the year, 2023-24, for the, for the London and South East, which yeah. is amazing. amazing. So they basically said there was like loads of competition in this space, but we really stood out for... 
the kind of commitment we have to our clients, the <laughs> community we've built, the engagement we've built, and the obvious fun that we have doing it, and with the <laughs> obvious results we get for our clients. So really, really lovely to be recognised. Thank you, Prestige Awards. Um, we're award-winning coaches yet again. Yeah, I, how many is that in the last three years? It's, it's, it's about lot. 12? Yeah, I something, think something like that. 12 awards, something like something that. Something like that. So Maybe really, really now. pleased for Lucky that. 13. Yeah, it's really, really great. And other than that, I've just been... We haven't been doing a lot because you, no. it's been curtailed by your, your <laughs> sickness. We had Valentine's Day. We, had, we did. Uh, had we went nice out for a little Valentine's. Valentine's lunch, didn't we? Which yeah. was lovely because we never go out for lunch. But we just got big, big plans on the horizon with all of the stuff that we're doing. And mm. um, it was just a bit frustrating that it's been put on a bit of a back burner. But, but sometimes, you know, this is a lesson for you. Sometimes you know, life just throws you things yeah. and all you can do is adapt, yes. which is what we're doing. <laughs> Come back stronger. Yes. Right, so let's get into this. Um and this is so common. So many of you listeners, hopefully, have joined our wonderful Midlife Mentors community, which is our free community on Facebook. Um, if you haven't, Why then not? do join because um, like, it's a great community. Uh, we go live in there every weekend giving little mini teach yeah. masterclasses. Like you just did on your own. Like I just did this morning. Yeah. Um, so it's a great place to hang out. You find like-minded people all on a similar journey. Uh, and when you sign up, there's like the, the standard like little questions. One is like, you know, what, what are you looking to do? And what comes up over and over mm. and again is like, I want to lose weight and build muscle. But... Mm, let's clear that up because that's not actually what you mean. And I'll explain why that is the case. Um, muscle is denser than fat. So when we add muscle, we're actually going to put weight on. I'm just talking about weight here. Um, what we actually mean is probably that we want to add muscle but lose body fat. Body fat. Now, that is obviously the dream goal for everyone, right? Like, how do I, how do I add muscle and lose fat at the same time? It, it's tricky, but it is definitely possible. Yeah, it, it absolutely is possible. And I think that's why we always go on, bang on to our clients that join the midlife method. That, you know, yes, of course, they can measure their measure their weight. But actually, what we want to do is not obsessively at all, but actually track their body fat percentage. And um, like that, that over time is, we, we want that to go down. And actually, their lean muscle, because the, the scales that we recommend, which are called Tanitas, by the way, um, they're really inexpensive and actually we found their, them to be the best they actually measure um, uh, muscle and body fat and various other things like metabolic age and all that sort of stuff so they're really really helpful but again we do we do say to our clients don't get obsessive about that but don't actually even bother re- too much with the weight you want to look at body fat and your muscle mm. and here's the thing like, <clears> if you're if you say you add muscle and lose fat but your body weight stays the same you're actually going to look a lot better because the muscle is denser than fat. So you'll actually look a lot yeah. smaller and more compact as well as looking more sculpted, all the rest of it. Plus all the benefits of had, ad, adding muscle, which you're going to have. But firstly, I'm going to leave you a little conundrum. It's commonly accepted fact that to lose fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit. And to build muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus. Hmm. That's not true. So how are we going to get around that? Well, we're going to tell you in a minute. But first, let's tell you why you need to be building muscle at midlife mm. you know what James has just looked at me right now but my head's gone so foggy I keep going <laughs> off like I keep staring off into the distance um, I know you are all going to forgive me for that I'm going to I'm going to let James answer that well, <laughs> even the... though you just looked at me as if I because this is where that's I normally... one of your things where you get really excited I do, about I do, oh, I do I bless her I can I... tell how ill she is <laughs> I do well yeah because I'm such a chatterbox normally I know um, no I, I will say this though it is really important that we build lean muscle um, at midlife because as we're ageing our muscle mass is decreasing um, a muscle is metabolically active mm. um, which means that even at rest when we've got more muscle we're burning more calories um, and that's that's really really important and also for it's also really important for our bone density so build it when we when we weight train which is kind of what we're talking about here when we weight train we're actually building stronger bones which is really important because one in five women over 50 are going to experience osteoporosis mm-hmm. um, but also for our for our posture for um, negating any injury that we are going to get to actually feel strong to feel really powerful and I always talk about the mental benefits of, of building muscle and actually doing some weight training is because it really really does empower us in a way that you know it I never fails to amaze me how how good we feel in our own skin when we're not just doing cardio but when we're doing resistance training as well but it's really really important that we build lean muscle or maintain muscle at midlife because um you know, uh, it's decreasing at midlife and we want to make sure that we are boosting that decreasing metabolic rate so we can give it a bump and a boost. Yeah. 
that is in a nutshell. We want to we want to say <coughs> lean and See, strong. I did it. Into old I did age. Well it. Done. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's talk about about the how. How how would you go about building more lean muscle? Well, obviously you need to resistance train. Now that can be using your body weight mm. or simple equipment. Like we'll start people off with water bottles sometimes. Yeah. But then moving up to things like, you know, dumbbells, kettlebells, resistance bands, all of which are really inexpensive. Or, of course, you can go to a gym and start lifting weights. Um, as a general rule of thumb, right, you want to be hitting each muscle group two times a week with adequate recovery. And this is where it starts to get a little bit more complex, right? So this can depend on, on your lifestyle and your time. You might want to do a full body workout, i.e. hit every muscle group in one workout and then do another one later in the week. Because um, you do need to leave at least 48 hours. I say probably more like three days between those. But if time's short, you might want to start splitting it in different ways. You could do stuff, you know, uh, you do legs and a bit of back and then do chest and shoulders. And then you'd have four workouts or even five workouts where they'd be a lot shorter. So that's the first thing. Work out what fits your lifestyle. Just remember each muscle group twice a week with adequate recovery. And actually this was part of my TikTok video was the, the things that I started doing differently in my 40s that have made me look better now. Um, and one of the things is actually working in line with my midlife body and my midlife hormones. Mm. So this is what kind of, we're going to give you the tips at the end, but this is really, really important that, you know, we see this a lot. We see our clients doing what they did in their 20s, 30s, 40s even, and our body is vastly, vastly different to what it was when we were that age. You know, we have a very different makeup now. Our hormones are very, very different. So what we need to do, and we cannot stress how important this is, you have to train in a certain way um, and make sure that it is in line with those hormones for you to get the best results. Exactly that. Um, and people get really hung up on things like, you know, ooh, sets and reps, and like how many sets and reps. And listen, there, there is some science to it, but there's also a huge body of research out there that, that's shown that like, it doesn't really matter on the sets and reps as long as you're taking the muscles to overload mm. and you're progressing the weight as, as time goes by. So, mm. you know, it might be you want to do two sets of 20 reps. It might be you want to do three sets of 10 to 12 reps, five sets of five reps. Um, what I would say is it's really good to kind of mix those rep ranges up and also your body gets very used to the program you I give was... it. So try and adapt your program, change your program every eight weeks or so. Yeah, I was going to say that as well. I think one of the mistakes that people make is doing the same thing over and over yeah. and over again as well and their body just adapts you and then plateau. they you'll plateau and then you won't get the results that you you want. So again, that is why it's helpful to have a professional make sure you know look over what you're doing whether that's going into your local gym and asking a pt to do it or whether it's an online coach or whatever just making sure that you are constantly progressing yourself as well because that's what we make sure that we do with our clients um yeah so that's the exercise component <clears throat> of adding muscle obviously like like doing the training but how about the nutrition side and particularly this 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 conundrum of losing fat yes. while building muscle well here's what i want to say on that um the energy equation has two sides to it. So when we're adding more muscle, when we add muscle to our frame, um, we're obviously increasing our metabolic yeah. rate because you know, that muscle is metabolically active. So we're burning more calories even at rest. Also, because we're now exercising more, like we're moving more and burning more calories anyway. So it's like a double hit. So our calorie deficit is largely coming from the, that extra movement we're doing rather than necessarily restricting our diet. I hope that makes sense to people. Like you don't have to necessarily take food out of the diet. You can also like move, do more movement to like increase the burn on the other side. In fact, you probably want to do a little bit of both. Absolutely, you want to do a bit of both. Now, if we're doing that, obviously um, we want to get the nutrition dialed in. So what we want to do is increase our protein. Like our muscles need carbohydrates and protein to build, but protein is the essential building block. So what's that mean? It means getting more protein into our diet. It means we want to actually probably decrease our carbs to around 40% of our total diet, but make sure they're coming from good sources. We want to get rid of processed carbs. We want to get rid of sugars. Um, and then, you know, ensure that that energy is channeled to building muscles rather than being in excess. When we have high sugar foods, that's more likely to be stored as fat. So we want to take those low GI carbs and load those carbs early in the day. So if you do that alone, you'll start to feel and see a difference. You'll start to add muscle and your body fat will start to go down. What you can also do is add in fasted hit sessions in the morning to help the body burn fat. And because these sessions are short, right, there is a science as well that says if we do long cardio and we're trying to build muscle, we'll actually like we'll carry on breaking down the muscle so it'll be harder for us to add that muscle to our frame. This is something I've experienced myself personally. But keeping these sessions short, like 15 to 20 minutes, only two or three times a week on the days that you are not resistance training, 
then you will help to manage your body fat down as well. And again, this is really um, this is really individual as well. And I think that's that's why you know it's good to play around with this a little bit. But again, from my TikTok video, one of the things I said was that it was not only that I was doing the right training um, with regards to weight training, but I was actually I, I stopped doing so much cardio. I really found, and James has found this, and it's it's so interesting how we've been our own guinea pigs throughout this whole journey. But we were we were both doing way too much cardio in order to add enough lean muscle, right? And this is individualized. We're just talking about ourselves here, but it, it, there is a science around it that when you do too much cardio, you put your body under too much stress, so your central nervous uh, central nervous system under too much stress that raises cortisol, and that actually can start. Um, breaking down the muscle that you're trying to build um let alone actually you know high levels of cortisol in our body make us hold on to belly fat um it was it was a real interesting thing for me to trust the process of actually bringing my cardio down and making them a bit shorter as well as doing my weight training this this whole combo this whole combination was was really really powerful in helping me you know build the muscle that i now have Mm. Um, the other thing I'd say on this is like, um, be realistic about your results. A lot of people are like, all right, I've start, I started oh, lifting, say, yeah. I've changed my diet, yeah. I, I'm two days in. Listen, um, we've all got different rates of adaptation. Personally, for Claire and I, we're, we're quite synced up. It takes around <laughs> 14 days before mm. we'll see the results. So, you know, what that means is three, four days of splurge eating, you kind of think, oh, we got away with that. But 14 days later, boom, you haven't got away with it. On the flip side, you know, starting to clean up the diet, training harder. It's not until you know 14 days or a bit longer sometimes that we see the results of that. Now, some people I know see the results in, in as little as seven days. Other people might say as low as 21, but it's up to you to monitor, right? So give it 14 to 21 days and think, right, you know, am I putting muscle on? Is my fat going down? If you are, put, you will put muscle on. If your fat's not going down, maybe just like decrease your calories by 10% and then monitor again and just keep with that, keep that feedback loop going. That, that being said, James has just touched on a really important point there. You know, we do expect results just we all do we expect results so fast because we are in a society that tells us that we can have the quick fixes and it's all a lie it is an all all an absolute lie no one gets these results that last um quickly right so you know yes yes james says we get those results in 14 days and we can start seeing changes in 14 days but you've got to think we're all really pretty healthy right our metabolic rate is already pretty high that that's 14 days for us but if you've never done if you've got a lot of body fat to lose if you've never done very much if you haven't cleaned up your diet and you've been relying on fad diets and crash dieting for so long it could possibly take your body five to six weeks for you to start seeing anything but we all you know so many of us quit too soon so many people quit too soon it's like that little picture of a man chipping i don't know whether you've ever seen this i love this chipping away Mm, underneath in the mind mind, chipping away chipping away chipping away and the gold is like literally a centimeter away from where he's about to chip but there's one of them that carries on chipping there's two of them and one's turned back just before he hits gold it's an it's a cumulative effect right so it builds over time and then it'll be like whoosh you know, it could be on week six, seven, that you'll just go, oh my goodness, like firing on those results. But what I would say is don't quit too soon. Don't believe the hype. There is no quick fixes in in reality. No. So let's re- give you those, those tips again. So you want to resistance train uh, each muscle group twice a week and you're looking for progression and muscular overload and get adequate recovery. This is training in line with your midlife body or midlife hormones. Yeah, so making sure that you're training in the correct way for your midlife body because you cannot get away with keep doing what you used to do yeah um uh, if you're looking to bring those fat levels down add in two to three fasted hits on different days from your resistance but don't, don't do, do too, too much, much cardio overall because you want to avoid <laughs> that stress response and then increase your protein intake and decrease your carbohydrate pro- uh, intake and front load those carbs in the day mm. that's it that's it those that are our is tips. It. so i hope that helps that yeah. is how you build muscle and lose fat. Um, <laughs> there is uh, essentially that will give you the blueprint of what you can do. There is more more to it than yeah. that. This is exactly what we do on our midlife method, our eight week program that gets us amazing physical and psychological results for our clients. So if you're at all interested in that, then uh, drop us an email team at the midlife mentors dot com or use the book a call link on the website to book a call and discuss whether it could be for you or not. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna. I've enjoyed doing this. Oh, good. It's perked me up a little bit. You see, you always help me, all of you lot out there. Like knowing that I have. It's that whole purpose and a whole passion thing, isn't it? It's about making sure that 
um, we're focusing on the good rather than the bad. So I'm focusing on the positive here. I've just managed to do a podcast with you out, without coughing all the way through. Well done. Um, and sharing a little bit of laugh and snot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I better not laugh. Don't I better laugh. not laugh. Start yourself I'll off. I'll start myself off. All right, well, we're sending you so, so, so much love. And do let us know if there's any topics you want us to cover, anything you're unsure of, please let us know at that same email address, team at themidlifementors.com. And we are sending you lots and lots of love. Uh, one last favour oh. to ask, actually. Oh. Do, do like and share and review the podcast if you've enjoyed listening to this if you've got something from it leave us a nice review tell your friends yeah, share it far it and wide really it all matter. helps it really really does matter and we would be really really grateful um, yeah well done right. okay. lots of love, lots of love. Bye. bye You've been listening to The Midlife Mentors with Claire and James Davis. We'd love to hear from you. So drop us a line at info at themidlifementors.com with any questions or topic suggestions. And make sure you join us on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can find us under The Midlife Mentors. Yeah.